Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you if you're listening to this when it comes out. I'd like to welcome you all, old and new, to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, and so much more. If you like the sounds of that and you're new here, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share with a friend and leave a rating and review if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Wherever you are right now in the world or wherever you are on your journey, I just hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're holding yourself together because I know it can get tough out there. I know it can be challenging, but I'm empowering you to keep on pushing, keep on seeing yourself flourish because you will get out of whatever shallow holes you're going through because they're all shallow. They're all temporary. So continue to push and go forward. I don't know who needs to hear that. I don't know who needs to to just push through hard times right now because it gets tough. It's a struggle sometimes mentally, emotionally, financially. However, the challenges come to you, they're going to fade away eventually. I just want to tell you that right now, if you're going through anything, I don't know who you are, where you are, but I'm encouraging you to continue to move forward and let all your struggles you're going through right now be for a reason. So continue to push yourself forward. No major announcements for this week. I just want to tell you to go ahead and check out all the links down below where you get more information on the coaching program. You can reach me on IG. You can find the YouTube channel. You get the book, the planner. Everything is down there. So go ahead. Do me a favor and check out the links down below. And also, I just want to remind you to leave a rating and review if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts. And more than anything, share with a friend. If you share this with a family member, with a friend, it helps me grow the podcast so much. So I appreciate that if you can do that. Those are the only things I want to talk about this week for announcements. We're going to dive straight into today's daily tip. I want to tell you that you'll never be able to satisfy everyone. So do what makes you happy. Whatever that may be, whatever you've been holding back just because of what others may say, go ahead and do that thing that makes you happy. Because you'll never be able to satisfy everybody. Someone's always going to have something to say no matter what decision you make. So do what brings a smile to your face. That wraps it up for today's daily tip. Today's episode, we're talking about not living in alignment with your purpose. Because we hit times in life where we're looking at ourselves and we're saying, you know what, it has to be more to life than this. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you deal with that? And how do you get out of this headspace and just stay consistent when you're trying to find your purpose or when you're chasing your purpose? Because some people know what it is. Some people don't know what it is. And we're going to cover all that stuff today. And when we're thinking about life, when we're thinking about how our lives are right now as adults, we have to understand that life happens and responsibilities kick in. Eventually, we all hit a point where we ask ourselves, what am I doing? Where is my life going? I know there's more for me. I have to do better. All these types of questions where we start to second guess the the afterwards, like what is the bigger meaning to my life? Most people hit this stage, I say around mid 20s to early 30s, kind of in that stage, because you've experienced things through life. You got to try different things out, see what you like, what you don't like. But now you buckling down saying, what is it that I really want from myself? Now, what is it that I want to do for a living? But Who is the person that I want to become? Who is the bigger and better person that I want to become? And these thoughts are natural. These thoughts are all natural for us as humans because we want to feel progressive. We want to feel like we're making some type of progress, like we're moving forward. We never want to feel like we just sit still and everything the same around us. We don't want to feel like there's no changes. Everything is happening as predictable. We want to feel like we like we're making progress, as we said. And in the midst of these thoughts and desires to want to go off and discover yourself or chase your dreams, those bills don't stop and you need to live day to day. No matter what's going on, no matter what you desire to do, you still got to make sure those bills are paid. You still have to make sure that you're surviving. You got to make sure that your kids taken care of if you have any. And you just have to be a human being. You have to be a functioning human being in society. And the way the world is right now, it's nearly impossible to survive without some type of income. And even then, that's that's another story because that income we have now is just not significant for for the lifestyle that we have for food, just for living in general in most metropolitan areas in in America. So we go through life and we get out of school, whether that be high school, college, and most people get into a job because you need it or it's just something that you thought you wanted to do. And just finally, you had a change of heart down the line. You thinking that, you know what? I don't enjoy this anymore or 
Maybe it's more to my life than this. What is it? So you start to question yourself and start to ask yourself those questions that we mentioned earlier. I end up having this discovery when I was at one of the lowest points in my life. I discovered something that spoke to me and made me feel alive. When I hit my lowest point, if you've heard me before, if you heard me talk about this stuff before, then you know that I was working at a good job. I was making nice money, but there was more to my life and I knew it. And that's when I discover my purpose. That's when I discover my passion and that thing that I really wanted to follow. I discovered it out of necessity of me looking for something better for me, looking for ways to get out of this depression state. And I was eager to learn more. When I discovered personal development, it spoke to me and it made me feel alive. When I started to read up on it, I was just excited and eager to learn a lot more. The eagerness may come at the beginning stages of you learning something, but if it persists after a period of time, then you own to something. Because what happens when you get something new? Think about when you get a new gadget or a new toy or something. You're excited about it. You want to learn everything about it. You want to know everything you can. So you're doing all this research, you're reviewing it, you talking to other people about it, like, look, look what I have. But after a while, that excitement dies down. As you think about your purpose, as you think about something that you want to do, don't get so attached to something just because you're trying it for the first time, because it's not always going to be that way. But if that eagerness sticks around, then you know that this is something I should take more serious, maybe take it to the next stage. And I was blessed to figure mine out in that way. And not everyone will find it. And not everyone will be as blessed as I was. Most people have to start from ground zero and do a lot of self-reflection, which is actually what I had to do. I had to do some self-reflection, but I kind of sped up my process. It didn't take me so long as I was reflecting, as I was trying to figure things out. It spoke to me and it just it just hit me right away. It was just something about it. I can't explain it. Even what you're doing that self-reflection, it may not come to you. And I want to tell you that that's perfectly fine. I talked about this more in depth on a YouTube video that I posted. If you go check it out, you'll see me talking about, is it really your purpose that you're seeking? And for some people, it's comfort is what you're seeking and not your purpose. And don't feel like you need to find your purpose in life because it's not meant for everybody. Not everybody's going to thrive off of living a purposeful life. Some people just want to be comfortable. Some people just want things to be smooth in their life. You're just seeking comfort. That's all you're seeking. You're just seeking that comfort where you could take a nice vacation, save some money up, do the things that you want to do. You don't mind doing the work for other people. You don't mind doing the work that that uh, that you're assigned to do as long as you're getting compensated well for it. And you need to find out that perfect medium for yourself. Maybe you want to do a mixture of the two, but that's something that you have to discover when you go on these self-discoveries. So if you someone listening to this episode right now and you know that what you're doing at the moment isn't what you're supposed to be doing or, or what you want to be doing, I want to remind you to hang in there. Sometimes we have to do what we have to do in the meantime so that we could do what we want to do in the future. So if you're in the space where you're working right now just to make sure your bills are paid, make sure you that you're surviving. Make sure that you're being mindful of how you spend your hours outside of that job. All that free time that you have, make sure that you're being mindful of what you're doing during those times. Put a plan in place so that you can make that exit. Put a plan in place so that you can start to put yourself up that ladder, getting closer and closer to whatever that purpose is or discovering what that purpose is. Whether that be that self-work that you're doing on yourself or whether it be actually implement processes and things so that you can make it a reality. Create a pathway to your vision. What your what is your vision? What do you see yourself doing? Where do you see yourself going in the next two, three, four, five years, or even the next six months? What steps need to be taken in order for you to reach this goal? Who is it that you need to become? And what needs to be changed in your life to excel the process? And as you answer in this question, I want to remind you and discourage you from attaching your why to money. Because when you attach your why and your reasoning to making more money, you get sidetracked and begin to jump on any opportunity that it seems lucrative or ultimately is this going to delay your process? It's going to delay the speed of you getting to where you set out to get. If you just see different things and say, oh, you know what? That's popular. I see a lot of people making money on that. Let me go ahead and get that a try. Maybe I want to give that a shot. And then next thing you know, you own something else for the same reason. No, find a lane and stick to it. Find something that speaks to you. Find something that makes you feel good, where it makes you feel like, this is it right here. You know it when you get it. I can't explain the feeling, but I know the feeling. So I can give you a little bit of an ex explanation on it. But you know, it's one of the things you know when you feel it. You know how you feel loved by somebody or you really feel that, that heartwarming feeling. 
that's that feeling that you'll get when you find that thing that really speaks to you. When you feel like you find that thing that's for you, that's what it'll feel like. Always keep this on the top of your head. What skills can you develop and strengthen while you're a work in progress, while you're at work right now? Maybe you listen to this when you're driving, you heading to work, or maybe you're at work right now listening to me in your headphones. What are the skills that you can develop or strengthen that's going to help you get closer to that purpose, help you align with your purpose, or just help you become a better individual overall? At the moment, you can educate yourself by listening to podcasts, different audio books. As you're doing right now, you're listening to me right now, so you're already into audio. Go ahead and pick up some audio books instead of listening to music all the time. Separate some of that time and listen to an audio book to educate yourself a little bit. Listen to other podcasts to educate yourself and enlighten you on other things that you may not have even thought possible. Can you use your breaks to write down your ideas and strategies or steps to help you? Every minute counts. I'm telling you, make sure that every minute is being utilized and accounted for. And not every single hour of your day is going to be dedicated to you doing this. You got to have leisure time, but you understand what I'm saying to be mindful of how you spend your time and make sure that it's impactful for what you desire to go after. The challenging part is implementing these new habits that don't have an immediate award to them. So what do I mean? When you're doing these small things, when you start to implement these new things of listening to audio books, listening to podcasts, writing down your goals, being mindful of your process that you need to take in order to get to where you want to go, you won't get the results right now. And as humans, we desire and we drive on results. We like to see things change. But what happens when you don't see anything changing, but you're putting in all the effort? You get discouraged and you go right back to the things you used to do before. And that's the daily part where you have to pull yourself out, when you have to catch yourself and check yourself and say, you know what? You're not doing what you're supposed to do right now. Just because you're not seeing the results. So you mindful of why you're doing it. So now is your opportunity to conflict this and change the whole dynamic and change the whole circumference around your actions. Everything I'm mentioning has an impact on the long term goal, not immediate. It's not about to happen right away. You're not going to see any changes. Tomorrow is going to happen gradually. When I was going through my depression stages, when I was just really trying to figure out what it is that I wanted. I was working. I was working as a cable guy. You kind of, if you heard me, you know my story about me working as a cable guy in LA, doing all these high end clients, doing all these high end businesses. And I spent a lot of time in traffic or just working alone in general. So I began to utilize this time and I started to listen to audiobooks. During my downtime in between these jobs or if a job canceled or something, I take this opportunity to write down my plans, my ideas, and just even parts of my book, my first book that I have, which is linked down below called Separating from the Pack is available on Audible, Amazon, and uh, Barnes and Noble. Link is down below. Go ahead and check that out. As I was writing that book, I was in between those jobs. I was writing this book in the middle of me being at a job that I did not desire. And I'd even change my shirts and record motivational videos. And I was intentional about just making every moment count. And it paid off. I take that work shirt off. Next thing you know, I got on a different shirt that I kept in the truck. I always kept shirts in the truck. I'm like, I don't know what opportunities may arise. I don't know what time I may have. But if I have an opportunity to sit here and encourage other people, motivate other people, and also motivate myself, because sometimes I have to listen to my own words at times, then I'm going to go ahead and do that because I have to stay consistent. I have to show up every single day. So that's what I did. Sometimes I do it in between jobs. Sometimes I do it uh, during my lunch time. Sometimes I did it both. I would make sure I pull up to a nice location, walk around some houses, some parks. I was making sure I was putting in that work because I knew what I wanted. I knew what I was going after. So I want to ask you to utilize your time. Think about the time that you have right now. Think about the time you spend on social media. Think about the time that you spend watching YouTube or just the time you spend wasting your days, wasting your hours. How can you utilize this time to better help you reach that next level Reach that part that you want to get to that you that you so much desire. Don't fall in love with the idea. Fall in love with the process of where it takes you to get there. And as you working and you know that you're destined for more, you be in your head. You start to get in your own mind because you start to see other people living that life. You start to see other people flourishing. And sometimes even when you're at your job, you interact with higher ups or people who you who you deal with on a daily basis. And you feel like you're smarter than them. You can make better decisions than them. And you'll do these tasks that you feel like are below you. 
But don't allow those things to discourage you. Use those things as motivation. Use those things as something that's going to push you to do the work that you need to do to get out of this situation. Keep your focus on what's to come and not what is. Don't focus on where you are right now, but focus on where you're going. Your current situation can be a distraction from the clear mind that you need to execute your plans. If you're over there thinking about all the negatives, you think about all the things that's happening in your life right now, you cluttering your mind up. You need a clear mind in order for you to execute any plans that you may have. So do your best to keep a clear mind. Getting up and doing the same thing may drive you crazy some days. I get it. It was times where I didn't want to wake up in the morning, sit in that traffic, go ahead, talk about the same things every day. It just got so boring to me. I was I was like, man, you know what? This is not for me. And you may even sit there and daydream. You may just sit there just thinking about a better life, asking yourself, what if? Or saying there has to be more to my life or, oh, those people are lucky they can do that. You can do it, too. Don't sit there and fantasize about it. You have to create your life that you want. The blessing in disguise is that you are now aware. So when you start to have these thoughts, when you start to ask yourself these questions, you are now someone who's aware. And once you're aware, you know what you no longer desire. So you stray away from that. You know what you don't want in your life. So you start to work past that. And as you begin to work on yourself, as you begin to start to stray away from these things, there will be things that may feel like they're holding you back. This thing is that security blanket. You know that you'll get paid for your time as long as you show up at that job. You know that you got security. You know you got a guaranteed paycheck. So all these things may hold you back. It does not matter if you do the minimum or overachieve, you will still get paid at that job. So you got one foot in, one foot out. You want to do it, but over here, like they paying my bills right now. I need to do this. Don't get yourself caught up on this mythology. Don't get yourself caught up on this and allow it to stop you in your tracks. You must continue to roll and understand that everyone's purpose is not money related or desire to work for themselves. Even everybody don't want to go work for themselves. Some people want to do community work. Some people just want to help other people and they don't want a paycheck attached to it. And the only reason I use this example of becoming an entrepreneur, just working for yourself, because there's so many people looking to exit the workforce in some magnitude, because there's so many people that can relate like this is not my life. This is not paying my bills. I'm doing all this work. I'm getting paid this little amount of money. Well, I see somebody online talk about they they making one hundred thousand dollars a month just recording some videos or they making one hundred thousand dollars a month doing whatever. So you start to see these images. So it's making your mind think that's the only reason I'm using this. As a as an example, the reality that a regular job is no longer efficient is sinking in for so many people now. So people are looking for other opportunities. People are looking for for other ways to make a living or other ways just to add on to their income as a whole. Like you just need to increase that bank account. You just need to increase that income. You don't mind working. You enjoy your job, but you need something more. Don't allow the expectations of others be something that holds you back. Don't allow someone else expectations of what you should be doing or where you should be at or what you should be going after in general. Be the thing that stops you from going what you going after what you want. Feel free to chase what your heart desires once you find out what that is. Don't worry about the feedback from friends and family. It's not for everybody to see your vision. It's not for everybody to identify that and agree to it. You have to do that for you. You have to visualize it. You have to implement it. You have to make that decision to do so. And I've been a victim to this. I was a victim to this for so long because I was afraid to stand out because of the backlash from those around me, from what people would think. I was afraid of people talking about me because of me starting from scratch because you starting from scratch. So you starting from ground zero as you begin to do something. So many people around you will hope that you fail. Because they're afraid to go after something themselves. They're afraid to go after something that's outside the norm. So once you fail, what they going to do? Say, oh, yeah, I told you so. I told you that that they couldn't do it. Are they talking behind your back? And this is a huge fear for so many human beings. This is a fear for many of us because the people that are closest to us are the ones that we want to take on our journey. Those are the ones we want to show different things to. Those are the ones we want the support from. But let me scare you right now. Your support won't come from there. It will not come from that place. So stop seeking that support or that validation coming from those locations because it's not coming to you. And I had to get over this and understand that failure is only temporary. Failure is only permanent if you give up. The moment you stop, 
and you say, all right, this is not for me. I didn't like how these outcomes were. I'm going to give up right now. I'm not about to go back to the drawing board and try and figure it out. You've heard me use this analogy so many times, and I'm going to use it right now again. A champion does not become a champion after winning one game. They show up every single day. They showing up every season. They're going to have those losing seasons. They're going to have those winning seasons. But those winning seasons make all those losing seasons that much more enjoyable and make the wins that much more enjoyable, I should say. But stick in there. Just hang in there no matter what you're going through. Don't allow the idea of failure to be something that holds you back or the idea of being something different be the thing that stops you from going after what you desire in your life. Where you are right now does not define your future unless you decide to remain stagnant. Get up and chase after your dreams. They'll get tired of running eventually. Eventually, your dreams will say, you know what? This person is not giving up. I'm about to stop right here. They're going to lose breath before you do. So continue to chase your dreams, whatever you decide to go after. When you think about, I want to live a purposeful life. I want to live a different life than what I'm living right now. I want something that aligns with me as an individual. Continue to chase after that thing once you identify what it is. You are the one who shapes your future. No one else is drawing that for you. No one else is creating your narrative. No one else is creating your story. It comes with discomfort, uncertainty, and thousands of hurdles that you have to work through. And I want to tell you that you can get through every single one of them that's approaching you, every one that you encounter. You just have to work through it and just continue to push. All of these make the journey worth it in the end. Nothing worth having. It's going to come easy to you. You have to work for it no matter what you decide to do. Whether you think it's easy, whether you think it's hard, you have to do the work. You have to show up and do the work. No one else is going to do it for you. So that wraps it up for today's episode. I want to ask you to think about what it is that you want out of yourself, whether that's comfort, whether that's to live a purposeful life, whether it's something you like. I'm working right now. I don't want to do this anymore. I know that is something more. Take the time to reflect on yourself, reflect on who you are, what you desire to get out of yourself. Who is it that you desire to become? These are the questions I want you to ask yourself as we come to a conclusion to this episode. Think about the things that you want from you, for yourself, for your future. And then that's going to help you find out what it is that really aligns with you and where you like to go. Don't forget to go ahead and check out the links down in the show notes. Reach out to me on IG, leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and refer this to a friend if you benefited from this. Uh, But you hear that outro coming in. You know what that means? Everybody has greatness within. Even you.